Well, if you want to reach financial freedom, all you have to do is reduce your costs, increase your savings, and control your spending. Piece of cake, right? Well, Lakeisha Smith says not so fast. She's one of four families selected by Community America Credit Union for a financial makeover contest. During this past year, she's discovered the seemingly impossible, how to save when you're already living paycheck to paycheck. Being a single mom has its challenges, one of them being a single paycheck. Lakeisha Smith and her daughter Avery understand that very well. For nine years, it's just been the two of them. There would be little expenses that would come up for my daughter at school, and you know, I'd just be like, I don't have the money. Because before I would feel so bad, like, okay, everybody else in her classroom, you know, has, and feeling like, Okay, that's the, you know, single mom. An image Lakeisha was desperate to shed. So she turned to Community America Credit Union and was chosen to compete in the company's year-long financial makeover contest. The first meeting, just sitting there like, yeah, right, what are they going to, like, yeah, show me anything. When they first met Lakeisha almost a year ago, financial coaches Sherry Baker mm -hmm. and Rance Carlson knew they had quite a challenge ahead. I didn't think there was any way they could squeeze anything out of my paycheck. But they did, and as the contest wraps up, Lakeisha's savings account has gone from zero to thousands. She still can't believe what she's accomplished. Oh, wow, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious to even hear, because <laughs> that makes my eyes water. Yeah. How'd she do it? It all started in December of 2008. Lakeisha's coaches taught her an important rule. If you make $1,000, you want to spend that 1000 on paper before you get it. Spend it in the sense that you budget where every single penny will go. Baker says it helps you pay attention, watch your spending, and grow your savings. Of course, I always incorporate savings um, either to an emergency fund or if you have vacation fund or anything like that, I always incorporate that into a budget. So it's not necessarily a bill, but it's a part of my budget. The idea, give every dollar you earn a purpose before it goes into your account. When extra money comes in, it's extra money. Yeah. It should just go right into your mm -hmm. savings account. But at the beginning of the contest, Lakeisha didn't have any extra money coming in. Her entire paycheck was used to pay the bills. So to free up some cash, Baker and Carlson looked for creative ways for Lakeisha to save. They started with her auto loan. I call it my lucky Friday the 13th that I was actually able to get my car refinanced, cut my interest rate in half, so and shave some months off of my loan just because I was paying so much money in interest. So the extra money she saves every month is now going straight into savings. Lakeisha's coaches then looked at her car insurance. I would have never thought that myself, you know, by raising my deductible, yeah, it would lower my premiums. So I was able to save like 30 bucks a month. Just, you know, it was. <laughs> More money she puts into savings. Lakeisha also found a way to save money on her cell phone bill. She found a cheaper plan that still meets her basic needs. It's like, um, having a raise without actually having a raise. But cutting down bills isn't the only way Lakeisha is saving money. She also found a creative way to cut back on impulse spending. She froze her credit card in a block of ice. It's paid down now and I don't want to take any more chances of maxing it out or feeling like I'm paying Capital One instead of paying myself. Without a credit card, Lakeisha's forced to keep a close eye on finances, including how much the family spends on food. We actually sit down and make a list and then add up the total. And if there's some things, if the total's a big total, then she usually just says, goes back and says, I don't think we need some of these things. And Although saving money sounds simple enough, sometimes the decisions you have to make aren't. Lakeisha decided it was time to get rid of what she called an extra expense, her daughter's dog, Snoopy. I don't think I took into full consideration that was literally like another kid. You know, there's vet bills, all this food. Lakeisha also had to pay a $300 pet deposit at her apartment, something that's hard for a nine-year-old to understand. Yeah. Were you mad when she first told you that you guys had to give up Snoopy? Yeah, he was a cute dog. Despite the tears, Lakeisha stands firm. There's no room in the budget for a pet.
But Avery's optimistic she cheered up when she thought about Christmas. For Christmas, I've been wanting on my wish list, puppy, the first thing. And Lakeisha can't believe that Christmas is already around the corner. The past year and everything she's accomplished has simply been overwhelming. Proud of myself, you know, and I know I haven't given myself enough credit as this thing began. Their tears of joy, a good feeling knowing that she's finally learned important lessons she can take with her for the rest of her life and pass on to her daughter too. I feel like, you know, sharing the knowledge with her of savings, you know, is one of the biggest gifts that I can give her. And that's giving these single ladies something to smile about.